Hello students. Today we are going to see the topic job evaluation methods. I am Professor K. Kalidas to handle the session for you. So what is meant by job evaluation? So it is a systematic process of evaluating different jobs of an organization. So depending on the characters and requirements of the job. So this job evolution adds worth and value to the job. If the job is done in a efficient manner, so it assists the person for his wage and salary to act as a basis for him. So it deals with the job, not with the person who does the job. Ultimately, if you are able to get a good job or good process in simple words or good machining, so if you are able to get it, obviously the credit goes to the worker who works so that his wage, incentive and all the other things can be calculated. So what are the objectives? So it decides the relative values of different jobs of an organization. In that particular industry, in which place my job is the center. So that is the position of my job in an industry. So is it having the good priority or medium priority or low priority? So it is the relative value of different jobs of an organization. So that helps for an appropriate and uniform wage structure. So I know this, this job has got this much wage. So if this efficiency has been obtained, I can give this much of wage to them. So depending on my job, I can structure my wage then clarifies the responsibility and authority associated with each job. So, what technique has to be used? How important that job is? So, everything has to be clarified. So, it, again, it acts as a basis for the employee improvement in terms of uh, promotion, transfer, recruitment, training, etc. So once the job is done good, obviously the employee, the employee is going to be benefited. So it establishes a good relationship between the management and the employee. So he'll get a good job satisfaction. So it minimizes the labor turnover. It means uh, the replacement of a labor by another labor will be reduced. So it uh, describes and evaluates new jobs. So how the job evaluation is done? So identify the job to be evaluated, describe the requirements of the job. Say for example, I'm going to make a drilling. So that is my job. So what are the requirements of that particular job? So it means what is the dimension, what is the depth, uh, depth I am going to make, what is the clearance that I have to do, or uh, what is the speed that I am going to operate that drilling machine. So all are the requirements. So write down this skill statement and responsibilities. So for making a drilling, what are the skills required and uh, how focused you have to be while doing the drilling. So it, is, it indicates the responsibility. Now compare the job with the pre-identified key jobs. So similar type of drilling may be done in some other parts. So this is called as the key job. So that job has a standard structure or standard uh, standard time limit. So for that particular job, your wage has been already fixed. Say in one hour, you can make 25 drills. So that is the basis. So for making 25 drills, say 2,500 rupees is your salary. So that has been the key job. Now I'm getting into my job. So if I enter into my job, 
how parallelly i am going to work in par with the key job so that is a major if i am doing it then i will be getting the salary of that basis uh, key job if i am working more i can get some incentives bonus etc so that is the second thing then use the job value for calculating the wage structure of the so what are the methods available so ranking method classification method factor comparison method and point method so what is mean by ranking method so in a machine shop or in an industry the entire jobs has to be listed out they are ranked graded from top to bottom so it's a random judgment of uh, importance of the particular job in the industry so that can be done very easily without any cost but you should be mastered in it it is not easy to assess the job by simple methods so this ranking method can be used only for small organizations where a small number of uh, jobs only has to be evaluated so it cannot be done for uh, large scale industries since there is no methodology for ranking it's a uh, only a judgment that has been made so there is no specified base for ranking them so this method is not accurate so again if it is not accurate you are not going to use in uh, large manner in large industries so second comes the classification method so jobs are classified and graded into groups of equal skill difficulty responsibility importance and other requirements so this classification can be done for all kinds of jobs like production sales office etc so it has been given as a grade so each job is given as grade that grade has a appropriate monetary value say now again if i am making a 100 product out of them i am making all the 100 point or 100 products to cross the quality control in a good manner without an error then i will be getting one salary so that is a grade again for the same 100 products if i am going to work for 95 products and 5 product failures in a quality control again that is grade number 2 then it goes on grade number 3 grade number 4 so you can have the statements of grades according to our preference so each grade will be having the corresponding monetary scale value or wage value so by uh, this method does not involve detailed job analysis although it is simple so it is not again used for larger organizations because the classification is uh, time consuming sometimes so the grade and wage will not match so it happens say for example again so if i am out of 100 products 100 is good then i am going to get 1000 rupees if it is 98 i am going to get 980 rupees if it is 95 i am going to get 95 950 rupees but again at the lower level say for example if i am going to get only 50 then i will not be getting 500 rupees i am going to get only 200 rupees so it means it is not in proportion with the salary so there is always a mismatch between the wage and the grade so the third method is factor comparison method so identify the key jobs as i said and record their wages so it is taken as the benchmark so that benchmark job is been divided into five factors skill 
mental factor, physical factor, responsibility and working condition. Every job has its own prioritization of these factors. Some job needs skills, some job needs some mental attention, some job needs some physical uh, effort, some job needs responsibility, and some job needs working condition. So it is not equal among all the things. So give the salary for that five factors accordingly. The job number one, my skill is good, skill is more necessary, so skill is available, so I'm giving the maximum wage. Now the formulation of that money rating scale has been done for all the factors. So it has been tabulated in a job comparison scale. Now take the present job or the new job that has to be analyzed. Again, concentrating on the five factors of the key job, the present job's salary has been fixed. So that is the idea. So as per the job requirements, the importance of the job and fitting the job in the comparison scale to evaluate the money is a measure. So let us see this with an example. Say I am having some four key jobs already been done and it's been recorded. Say I am going to give 780 rupees for job number one. So I have already given 780 rupees as a salary for job number one, where it involves 300 rupees for responsibility, 220 rupees for physical effort, 40 rupees for mental, skill 180 and physical conditions 40. Then for the job number two, if I'm going to have the physical condition is bad, but I'm still working, so I'm going to get higher amount for the physical condition. So it means all my efforts are going to be less, but the physical condition is bad. But still I am working, so I am getting more salary for the physical condition. So totally I have got the salary of 660. Similarly here, the skill required is more. So my 620 has been uh, given with the large percentage for skill. So similarly with respect to the job number. So based on this four jobs, so this is taken as the basis for calculating the money for the job to be evaluated now. So if it's a responsible job, so obviously already I have given 300 rupees, 160 rupees and 260 rupees for that particular job. So for this I have decided to give 220 rupees as a mean value. So it's a judgment factor comparing with the e jobs and going, going to give the mean. So similarly for skills, they have given 100 for mental effort 60. So finally, after calculating individually for skill, mental effort, physical effort, responsibility and physical conditions, I have decided I am going to give you 560 rupees for the jo new job that I am going to do. So this is the factor comparison method. So it has been tabulated in a different way. So the salary is from 20 rupees to 330 rupees. So how that jobs has been fitted for all this salary values. This job now one, two, three, and four, and job has been evaluated. So I'm going to fix this in this particular chart. The next one is the point method. So again, giving some weightage to the particular job by dividing into, into grades. So select the key job. Again, have some factors into it. That factors can be again divided into grades. As I said, you say quality percentage is 100, quality percentage is 98, so quality percentage is 96. So that has been graded as grade 1, grade 2, grade 3, etc. So for every grade point that has been got, the wage has been fixed. Say if you are getting 80 grade points shortly, this is what is going to be the wage. So I'm getting only 50 wage, 50 grade points. Then I'm going to decide this is going to be the wage. So I'm going to have a relation between the entire grade points and the wages. 
say for example so here i am consider skill effort responsibility and working condition so again sub factors has been considered as education and training experience is uh, judgment and initiative physical and mental efforts exposure to hazards and other factors so the entire hundred percentage of weight has been divided to all the sub factors so where my judgment plays a very major role and initiative plays a very major role in this particular job so for that i have given 25 grades 25 as the weight for that particular project. so for education training it is 20 so now i know this is what is the weight that has been awarded to the sub factors now i have to divide them into grades they have said it's an example the experience say 0 to 1 year grade 1 1 to 3 years grade 2 3 to 5 years grade 3 more than 5 years grade 4 so the weight has to be multiplied by 1 2 3 and 4 so that this is what is my grade point so a person who is going to do the new job if he has got only two years of experience so here he is going to get 24 points then he has a uh, very less education so again it falls in grade 2 has very good judgment 100 where he involves his physical and uh, mental strength to some extent again some corresponding grade point so all these factors have been added to get the grade point. so depend on the total grade points out of this uh, entire sub factors i am going to calculate what is going to be the wh so this is the point system so in this lecture we have seen about the job evaluation procedure and its methods 